When I first joined Rec Room in 2018, I was just a normal player that played games, saved up for items, and all that good stuff. But now, Rec Room is pretty much my job. I never get on Rec Room to play anymore, I only ever get on to work on videos or a room. And I realized that it's been so long since I had a genuine connection with some random person in some random room, which used to happen all the time. So to reconnect with what made me fall in love with this game in the first place, I'm just gonna play a whole bunch of random rooms and see what happens. Maybe even the top 100 hottest rooms, to be exact. Ooh, it's the title. The first room we'll be visiting is NYC Life. The description says that it's a gritty, realistic roleplay game, which is definitely exactly what I look for in Rec Room games. I figured that surely being the first room that I visit, nothing that crazy is gonna happen here. And I was immediately proven wrong literally the second I joined the game. Teo! No Teo, where's Teo? You're not Tato, you imposter. I thought you were Tate. I was not even pretending. Oh, speak, I am so sorry. I was joking. I was being sarcastic. I was not even pretending to be Hello. this Hello, I'm currently just kind of sitting in my boyfriend's game, even though I'm pissed off at him. Hello. Welcome to my game. I have a good one, lad. Uh, by the way, I, this is I your just, game. Was, yeah, long story. Um. So for some reason, the room creator was in there, and also his girlfriend was there. By the way, I've just been tortured yeah. for half an hour in someone's dorm. They put a f***ing collar on me, they stabbed me several times, they brought torch weapons, and they, um, says anyway, pretty weird. Away from, <laughs> away from this. No, 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 she's, no, she's no, more interesting. She's no, more interesting. You stabbed me with that machete, dummy, and I didn't uh, even do nothing. Before you go in there, fuck him out. Okay, okay, okay. Eventually, we finally left the lobby, and he showed me around a bit, and honestly, the room had a surprising amount of depth to it. There's quite a few rooms like this, and all of them let you join gangs and get guns and fight other people on the streets and stuff, so I expected all of that. But this one also had a way to deliver packages and work a job and rent an apartment. Oh, back off, back off, back off! I'm so off. Oh, did I do it? I did it! There are quite a few things that happened in this room that I can't show you because I either promised the room creator that I wouldn't talk about it in the video, or it's something that I literally cannot show in this video without being demonetized. Let's just say that being shown the apartment made me reconsider what was in those packages I was delivering. Is this even allowed on Rec Room? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was certainly a pretty crazy experience for the first room. Next up was this hotel hangout room with nobody in it, and it didn't really have anything super remarkable, but it was surprisingly big and had some decent art, and I I had fun exploring it, I guess. Next up is this PvP map, The Great Bedroom War, which has been on the hot page for a long time. At first, there was only me and, like, two other people in the room, and I was basically harassing this guy, because I kept killing him over and over and over. Do you want wow. team up? Do you want team yeah, up? Let's yeah, you, let's team up. Do you want team up? Yeah, let's team up. Minecraft All right, take, come on. This was a classic PvP with, honestly, a pretty fun map. You know? Here, here. Take this. I'll let you live. Go out and get him. Not me! Not me! Not me! Hey, I let you live! I let you live! What are you doing? The next room was another PvP, Dune Buggies PvP, and way more stuff happened in this one. The second I joined the room, there were already people screaming stuff into the server microphone, so that's great. Okay. After walking around this barren landscape for a while, I found this tower with these kids trying to break into it, and they tried to recruit me to work with them. So my idea to get into the tower was that we could all jump on top of each other and then get over the wall. But every time I tried telling that idea to this kid and that I knew how to get in, he'd be like, okay, good, and then run away from me and ignore me. So I did make it my goal to get into this tower, but these were clearly not the teammates that I needed. Get in, boys! I'm in, I'm in! I know someone we can go. We're good. I know someone Okay, someone okay. Can go. I'll trust you. Don't worry. I'm in, I'm invincible. They can't hit me. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, they're sniping. They're sniping us. If we mess this up, we are screwed. Okay, we're just going know, to a wall. Let's go. Let's go! Oh my gosh, what is Let's happening? Go. We did it. Are we escaping? We can get to the map. <laughs> what? We're good, we're good, bro. We're good. We'll eventually spawn somewhere. We'll eventually spawn oh. somewhere. We're good. That is so cool. After that pretty insane escape, my new friend who was driving the car left the room on accident, so I took over the car for myself. Time to fulfill that one kid's wish and get in the base. Yeah! <gasps> There's no one here anymore. <gasps> Server mic. Okay, everyone right now, I need you to stop what you are doing. Go to the play menu in your watch. Now in the top right corner, there is a button that says enter code. You're gonna type in BVRR and then you're gonna hit submit and that's what you're gonna do right now and then everyone will be happy and there will be no more fighting. We drove around a bit more and a bunch of kids started screaming at me when they noticed me. How's it going? <laughs> okay. Hey, I never said you could get in my car. Get out. Hey, 
a YouTuber. I, I was on Fortnite and I tried typing your code in and it didn't work. It didn't give me preview bucks, man. <laughs> but that was basically it. A nice little PvP experience. So this is where we come to our first Arab room, which sounds kind of weird, but let me explain. A lot of people from a lot of different countries play Rec Room, but the community is mostly still just people who speak English. So a lot of Rec Room players from these different cultures will create their own hangout rooms specifically for that language or culture for them to be in. And I think that's great that the people from these cultures can actually find others that speak their language. And clearly these rooms are pretty popular because there's a ton of them on the hot page. This first one, Arab Pfizer, which I definitely said right, was just a completely empty, pretty basic hangout space. Then there was also Arabs Forever, which was basically the exact same thing. There's a lot of rooms I see that say like subscribe if you enjoy the room, but I gotta say, this is the first one I've seen that says subscribe if you like me, like the owner. And then there was Arab History, which did have some people in it, but they kind of just seemed to be standing around doing nothing, like not even talking. Then while we're at it, there's also this room, which I think is a Dutch hangout. This is gonna be the smallest soccer court I've seen in my entire life. You can literally just walk into the ball and instantly score. There were a lot of people talking in here and I could not understand a single thing that any of them said. Okay, the next main room that I joined was Pro Soccer Online. I was instantly overwhelmed here. There were a ton of options for different game types and there was a whole competitive ranking system. The first game I joined only had like three people in it and I was assigned literally the worst teammate of all time. Pass me the ball. That, that's not where I am. You just gave it to the other team. No, get, you are the goalie. Give me the ball. Pass me the ball. Pass me the ball. That is not you gave it to the other guy again. So I joined a new lobby and instantly I found a bunch of French people that apparently recognized me and they were very excited to see me. Hello. I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you. Okay. I would prefer if you didn't. I got no idea what you're saying, but I, I like the energy. This is also probably a good time to mention that this game is actually kind of fire. Oh, oh, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh! Did I just win the game? That's crazy. This soccer room is easily the biggest hidden gem that I've found so far. Rec Room has its own official soccer game from like 2016, but it pales in comparison to this one that actually lets you dribble the ball and pass it and shoot it at different forces and it has actually good physics. So this being a genuinely really good game mixed with the people I was playing with that were like hyping me up and passing me the ball the whole time made for a pretty good time. Go, go, go forward, go forward. You have it, you have it. Don't wish me. Oh, did I just take the ball? Oh, I missed, I missed. Oh! I don't know what just happened. <laughs> okay, guys. It was it was good playing with you, but I gotta I gotta go. After that, there were some other sports rooms that I checked out, including street ball in five on five. I like how one of the rules for the map is not to fake your height, but if you come over here, there's a power-up you can buy that makes you taller and goes directly against that rule, except the creator gets money for it. And uh this room made me realize why there isn't an official basketball room in rec room. I'm ready, I'm ready. Get the ball, get the ball. I have no idea. I don't think it does work. Oh, I got the ball. I got the ball. I'm gonna dunk it. Oh! I'm trying. I'm, I'm literally winning. Oh, that was actually a good shot. Insane shot. Insane shot. You did not even throw the ball. It's okay. You got this. Oh, that was really sad. You got two attempts and you still failed. You just grab the ball and run back and forth. What is the point of this? That's mine. That's mine. Oh my gosh. Massive score five seconds into the game, guys. Then there was also RRFX Football, which is an American football room. They just made the football out of a dart so it doesn't bounce at all. When it hits the ground, it just sticks there because it's a dart. Huge respect to anyone who actually plays this competitively because there was like a rankings list in the lobby. Okay, we're gonna have to do this eventually, so let's talk about militaries. In case you don't know, militaries are a popular thing in Rec Room where they have a base and in order to get access to the base and join the military, you have to be trained by an officer and they always run a bunch of events and have super confusing rules and ranking systems and they're usually super toxic. So the next room is Rec Military RP and I decided to to get trained and join just to see what it was like. There is nothing I want to do more right now than join this military. Hey guys, there's an E1 Pro. It's gonna take one get T2, one to three, two, get T4, one to get to E2. You can get instantly drills on train. Yes, we can get E5. This just looks like random numbers and letters. I also had to run an obstacle course in a certain amount of time and do a shooting training thing, and he also made me do 10 push-ups in real life. Are we talking physical strength here? How good push-up do? Oh, yes. probably like a one. 10 push-ups, baby girl. Okay. One, two, 
Three, six, five, nine, eight, ten. Ta da! So here's the thing about militaries. When you join them, they usually always eventually make you change your bio to what rank you are so that people know you're in the military or whatever. Frankly, my rec room bio is flawless, and I knew I didn't want to change it. They also usually make you join their Discord server, which I didn't really want to do either. So when the guy training me asked if I knew how to change my bio, I had to come up with some lies on the spot so that I wouldn't have to. No, you know how to change your bio, right? Uh, no. Level 50 doesn't know how to change a power. Yeah, sorry. Never thought I'd see the day. Scroll a wee bit down to about me, and bing, bing, boom, you're there. Where's the edit button? Next to block list. It's not there for me. I don't know if I can change my bio. There's an ad button. There's not an edit button. There, there is an ad button. Well, not for me. Do you have Discord? Uh, no. I have Skype. You change your bio? I don't know how to change my bio. You know how to change your bio. No, I don't. The edit button is not there. How are we I don't know how to socialize. How are we, uh, okay. Is, does that mean my training's done? I guess technically if you can't get your bio. Okay, cool. See you guys. <laughs> Honestly, I feel kind of bad. That guy put so much time and effort into training me or whatever. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. Shout outs to you. Uh, it was for the content. Next up was Spanish Military Forces RP, but it was empty and also Spanish. So even if it wasn't empty, I don't think I would have been able to get too far anyways. Then I went to KOI City Map, which is another military map with nobody in it. Caution Restricted Zone. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? I like how all these military maps are the exact same thing, except there's like a million of them. Next, I visited Clash of Gods PvP. This kid immediately tried to recruit me to join Hell and take down the people in the Heaven area. Hello? Attack him, attack him! Wh why, why? Hello, attack him over the- what He's an do? enemy! Okay, 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 I'll, I'll trust you. It's okay, I'm cracked at laser tag, there's no way he'll escape. See ya! Are, are you here to work- are you here to work for my army? Sure. We have to attack the heavens. Okay, I'm I'm down. Am I the only person in the army? Yes. Okay, that's fine. You just said you're cracked at laser tag, so... Yeah, I'm basically as you. good as like 10 people. You're so right. But when we actually got there, the people in the heaven area were really chill, so I just kind of hung out with them for a while. People also kept killing me, and I wanted to experience the room, so I made the huge mistake of buying this minigun, because I thought it'd be a good weapon that would help me survive. I cannot believe I wasted 500 tokens on this thing that shoots slower than I do with a pistol. Also, there was this other other kid that kept being really dramatic and edgy and coming up to me to try and kill me and be like, you fool, I will best you in battle. And I thought it was really funny. I challenge you to a battle for hell. Find your golden hammer. You'll never make it though. I don't need I a hammer because I'm cracked at laser tag. All right. I'm more cracked. Uh, clearly you're not. Next was Luxie Moon Family, which was a very empty hangout room. I think under this tree is supposed to be a game or something, and there's buttons to start and stop a timer, but I don't- it doesn't say anywhere what the actual game is. There's just these platforms. <laughs> there was also make your own Roblox train fight. In this room, you're supposed to pose these Roblox characters on this train to like create your own fight scene. But moving these characters one limb at a time over to the train is so annoying. Next was Hood Wars RP2, which was kind of like the New York room from the start of the video, except if you took out all the cool stuff that made it unique and just made it a city with guns in it. This guy challenged me to a fight and then proceeded to glitch through the wall to get me from behind. I lost a total of three fights to this guy before I gave gave up and left. It was pretty embarrassing. Next was a room that I'm sure a lot of you will have seen before, Dorm Room PvP. This room has been on the hot page since the beginning of 2019, and it has an absurd amount of visits. Look guys, I already have 43 kills in here from like 2019. I'm so high up on the leaderboard. It's kind of like the original version of the Great Bedroom War, which we checked out earlier. I remember everyone would like fight to get in this room, and all the cool people were in the room, and people would like sit around waiting trying to get in. See? Like this guy. This guy wants to be in here so bad right now. You literally just fight in a big dorm room. How does this have almost 12 million visits. And finally, we are at the 20th room out of 100, and the first Rec Room original on the hot page, The Park. Park is a template room from very early on in Rec Room's life, and it's very big and very empty. There's not really anything you do in here, it pretty much just existed to be an early hangout room and template room for creators. Why is the Five Nights at Freddy's music playing? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ, that voice scared me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your voice scared me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm not scary, okay. I promise. Silence. Okay, okay. Uh, ah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I am scary, I don't know. Eventually, I went into a new instance where there were only two other people, and I decided to force them to be friends with me, because I needed to talk to people for content. Do you guys want to be besties? I think... I think this is the start of something really special here. <laughs> want food? Sure. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I have more food than you, I promise. 
I'm not gonna make you waste yours. I have everything. I've got all the cakes, I've got lattes, I've got... You want everything? Okay. <laughs> Drop everything. Okay, okay, here. Pepperoni pizza, Hawaiian pizza, salted pretzels, retcon bubbly. I only have nine of these. Invasion donuts. <laughs> Creator bubbly. I only have one of these. I'm not spawning it. I'm sorry. Rec room food looks so much tastier than real food. So true. Honestly, this is probably one of the best interactions I had with someone else so far. We were just chilling out, casually eating pretty much every single consumable that exists in the game and hanging out. That's the first 20 rooms out of the top 100 hottest rooms in the game. In case you didn't figure it out yet, this is probably going to be a series that'll end up having about five episodes with 20 rooms per video. If you liked this video, you'll probably also like this one where I made a rec room game in only an hour. Make sure to subscribe and use code BVRR in rec room. Thank you so much for watching. Watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.